Assalamu alaikum. In continuation to the in-situ conservation, where we have discussed the national, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries, there is a third category, category of protected area, which is known as biosphere reserve. It is a special category of protected area, where human population also forms a part of the system. In comparison to national parks, national parks and the wildlife sanctuaries, it is broader and inclusive. There are large protected areas of usually more than 500 square kilometers. They can be described as undisturbed natural areas for scientific study as well as areas in which conditions of disturbance are uncontrolled. Any typical biosphere reserve can be categorized or organized into three zones. At the center of the reserve is a core conservation zone. A secondary shell, secondary level, and the core is designated as a buffer zone in which limited and regulated human activities are permitted, including ecological oriented tourism, training, low impact experimental research, and traditional low intensity agriculture and resource gathering activities. The tertiary landscape or the third cover surrounding the buffer zone is a trans transition zone which as its name implies serves as a boundary between the biosphere reserve and surrounding landscape. So it's a three tire system where each tire is where each tire is specifically earmarked and activities are coded accordingly. Human settlements and more insensitive, intensive economic activities are permitted in the transition zone again, provided they are fundamentally consistent with the production of coal. The Indian government has established 18 biosphere reserves in India, which protect large areas of natural habitat. Thank you.